Hello. Hello, good evening. Hello there. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? How do you feel? Very well. Thank Very well. You. Nice. Very good. Hi, husband. How are, are you, you, teacher? Oh, very well. Thank you. And you? I find teacher. Thanks for asking. Oh, no. oh my God. I imagine. Okay, solo déjenme cerrar alguna cosita por aquí que han puesto un gran musicón por aquí cerquita ahorita que se le ocurrió. Just give me a moment. Deme un momento. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I'm really sorry. Es que de repente como que pusieron una película en, en un super aparato por aquí. So, I'm sorry for, for that. Okay, so let's start. Empecemos entonces. Let's start. So, I have one, two, three, six, seven people, six people connected. All right. Hi, Edgar. Are you there? Hi, Edgar. Hi, teacher. How are you? Hi. Teacher, voy saliendo de la oficina que teníamos cierre de mes. Eh, voy okay. a estar, aunque sea de oyente, en el transcurso. Right. Del Pero solo por, un, solo por un rato, ¿verdad? De oyente. Sí, espero estar en casa en una media hora aproximadamente, 40 okay, minutos perfect. lo más. Ok, thank you for informing. Thank you very much. Ok. Yeah, thank you. Hi, Jack. Hi Jacqueline Gloribel. How are you? Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you? I am fine. And you? Very good. Thank you very much. Hi, Jesenia. Hi, teacher. Hi. Ya voy a encender la cámara, teacher. Solo estoy preparando mi material. Yeah, it's okay. No problem. It's okay. No problem. All right. So, siempre no olviden, um, well, ahorita no hemos todavía empezado con, con la clase, pero siempre no olviden que la cámara debe estar encendida. Don't forget that, okay? Ahora igual se le mandó un recordatorio al grupo para que siempre la cámara esté encendida, ¿ok? Uh, a mí me admira Ember, que incluso a veces aunque va manejando ahí lleva la cámara encendida. Se está comiendo la pupusita y ahí tiene la cámara encendida. <risa> ok. Muy bien, entonces, eh, de igual manera para los demás, ¿verdad? Siempre seguir eh, la indicación de que las cámaras estén, estén encendidas al momento de la clase, ¿ok? Es un requisito. Y eso siempre se, dice, se ha dicho desde el principio, ¿no? para que lo tomemos en cuenta. So we take it in consideration. Ok, bien. Para que entremos leyendo en la clase, les pasaré asistencia y luego vamos a las primeras actividades. Ok. So let's see. Uh, number one, Ana Abigail. Ana Beatriz. Present. Bien. Yeah. Carlos David. No, Ryan. Right. Present. Edgar Alexander. I'm here, teacher. All right. Ember? I'm here. Hazel? Sorry. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Jacqueline, is it? Jorge? Juan Carlos? Eunice? <clears throat> Maria Elena? Varios, 
We have some people missing. Mauricio? Nelson? I'm here. All right. Nestor? Oscar? Present teacher. Okay. Rosana? Wendy? Natalie? Wendy Natalie? Present. Okay. Jacqueline Loribel? Present. Jocelyn? And Yesenia. Teacher, aquí estoy. Me mencionó. Present teacher. Hello. Present teacher. 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 Sí. Este, es acerca de la plataforma. Es acerca de la plataforma, Yesenia. Sí. Eh, usted aparece con otro nombre, ¿verdad? Así como el de mi jefe. ¿Y por qué no me había, por qué no me había notificado? No sé, yo pensé que era normal. No sé. Porque yo decía, no sé si yo decía, Yesenia no me aparece, decía yo en la plataforma, y llamo para inglés corporativo que no me aparece Yesenia y me dicen, pero ella sabe que aparece con otro nombre. Me dicen. Ah, dime, yo, Yesenia, sí, okay. sí, no, yo pensé que así era, pero te puedo cambiar mi nombre, te puedo poner mi nombre. No, 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 aparece así, pero igual las notas son, pero con ese nombre he estado trabajando, ¿verdad? Hola, Yesenia. Con ese nombre he estado trabajando. ¿Con ese nombre he estado trabajando? Sí, con el nombre de mi jefe está en la plataforma. Yo, yo, yo no le había puesto notas porque yo decía, ¿y quién será esta persona? Ok, pero voy a pasar entonces las notas. Ok, voy a pasar las sí. notas. Eh, muy bien. Vale, ok. Saraí, eh, falta tarea 3, ¿verdad? Falta semana 3, Saraí. Saraí, hello. Saraí, hello Saraí. Falta semana 3, Saraí, sí. No, o no. O será que me. Sí. What time? ¿A qué horas? What time? ¿A qué horas? ¿A qué horas? Perdón, horas que mi teléfono ¿Perdón? se traba todo. Este, ya otro momento lo realiza. Ok, muy bien. Voy a darte un espacio para que lo revises entonces, eh, para no pas así estar pendiente que tú vas a hacer para pasar tu nota, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, perfecto. Pero ahora tiene que ser dejar su video de Ok, muy bien. Sí. Yeah. Yo bien, vamos a ver de aquí qué más. De los que están, solo quiero tomar su espacio para, para eso. Bueno, Roxana no se ha conectado aún, ¿right? Ok. Very good. Sure. Entonces, entonces empecemos. Let's start. So, you know, today is the last day of week number three. And basically, to finish module two, para terminar módulo dos, we only have next week. Solo tenemos ya la otra semana. Next week, hopefully, primero Dios, hopefully, we finish module two. Terminamos el módulo dos y el tiempo vuela. Time really flies, okay? Así que tanto como podamos, tratemos de no estar ausentes. De no ausentarnos y no quedarnos atrás en el, en el trabajo de la plataforma, okay? So that's very important. Eso es muy importante. That's very, very important. Important. Okay, very good. So let's start. So listen, uh, for today, I have this topic, which is WH questions with the present continuous. And let me show you this. Here, please pay attention carefully. Aquí si pongamos mucha atención. Pay attention carefully here. Okay. No se me desenfoque en esta parte. Don't lose focus on this part. Very good. So listen. You know that in the present continuous, para el presente continuo, you know that in the present continuous, we have, la estructura de una pregunta es, be, am, is, or are, el subject, el verb with ing, y el complement. For example, for example, are you checking, are you checking um, what, something, so we have the question, verb to be, verb to be, subject, 
y el verbo con ing, ¿ok? Very good. Muy bien. Now listen. La pregunta son why, when, where, or what. Or what, or why, or which, or who, or how. It's the same. Es lo mismo. What do we do? Solo ponemos esto al principio. Only put this at the beginning, ¿ok? Only put this at the beginning. Solo ponemos eso al principio. For example, imagine you have the question, um, are you checking email tomorrow? Are you checking email tomorrow? Ah. Luego le quiero poner, where? Entonces yo diré, where are you checking email tomorrow? Solo le agrego el where a la pregunta. Where are you checking email tomorrow? ¿Dónde vas a revisar el correo mañana? Ah, in my office. You can say, I am checking, checking email in my office. Or why? ¿O por qué? Why are you checking email tomorrow? Ah, because it's important. Porque es importante. Because it's important, tal vez. Yes? O who? Podría decir, who are you checking email with? ¿Con quién vas a revisar el correo? Oh, you say alone or with my coworker, con mi compañero, right? How? How are you checking email tomorrow? Ah, oh, you can say with my computer or with my cell phone, con mi celular. So listen, concluye, concluyendo. How do I make a question? ¿Cómo hago una pregunta en present continuous? Ah, solo le pongo what, when, where, why, which, who, or how al principio. Yes? And that's it. Y sigo la misma estructura. And I continue with the same structure. Let me give you more examples. Déjenme darles otros ejemplos. Imagine you have the sentence, um, I, what? I am. I am visiting, for example, I am visiting clients. That's a good example. I am visiting clients. When are you visiting? When are you visiting clients, for example? Seguimos la misma estructura. We continue with the same structure. When are you visiting? Clients. La respuesta? Oh, tomorrow you can say. Yeah. Or tal vez tiene la pregunta, um, who? Who are you uh, visiting clients with? Who are you visiting clients with? ¿Con quién vas a ir a visitar a los? Voy a mover esa ropa. Who are you visiting clients with? With. With my boss, con mi jefe. With my boss. Who? Luego el verb to be. El subject. Y el verbo con ing. Y luego el complement. Who are you visiting clients with? With my boss, con mi jefe. Okay? So. Uh -huh. Do you have any question about that? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta acerca de eso? Do you have any question about that? <sighs> Remember, we are studying the present continuous. Estamos en el presente continuo. Present continuous, right? Solo le estamos agregando information questions para hacer las preguntas abiertas como what, when, where, who, which, Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, any question about that? Alguna pregunta? Do you have any question about that? No. It's very clear. Yeah? Good. Imagine I tell you, imagine I tell you, imagine I tell you, um, I am playing soccer. I am playing soccer. I am playing soccer. I am playing soccer. Sería, when are you playing soccer? When are you playing soccer? Oh, I am playing soccer on Sunday, el domingo. I am playing soccer on Sunday. Continue, continue. When are you playing soccer? Sorry, Arnulfo. 
Where are you playing soccer? Oh, where are you playing soccer? I am playing soccer in Hopaitike. I am playing soccer in Hopaitike, in the stadium. Any other question? Otra pregunta? Who are you playing soccer? With. Ahí le agregamos el with a esa pregunta de who. Who are you playing soccer with? With. With. Oh, I am playing soccer with my friends. With my friends. Good. Continue. More questions? More preguntas? No. Okay, very good. That's it. Yes. So the idea is that you ask more questions. Okay? Very good. Now, taking this in consideration, listen, taking this in consideration, tomando esto en consideración, taking this in consideration. You will, you will go to breakout rooms. Van a ir a breakout rooms. And you will give future uh, sentences about you. Y van a decir eventos futuros acerca de ustedes. Pero no van a decir la time expression. No van a decir la expresión de tiempo. And I have one example here. Aquí hay un ejemplo. I am busy the client. Y luego los demás del equipo van a hacerme preguntas. When are you visiting clients? For example, where are you visiting them? Donde lo vas a visitar? Where are you visiting them? Who are you going with? Con quien vas a ir? Who are you going with? Why are you visiting them? Por quien lo vas a visitar? Okay. ¿Y cómo contestamos la pregunta de why? Because. La respuesta decimos because. ¿Por qué? Because. Maybe you can say it's important. Maybe you can say it's important okay, because it's important okay very good so you give different examples van a dar diferentes ejemplos toman turnos take turns en la segunda ronda hacen varias rondas las rondas que puedan tal vez Yesenia podría decir um, I am working I am working I am working what are you going to ask her que más le van a preguntar a ella what are you going to ask? Ah, when are you working? Y luego yo voy a decir, I am working the next week, va a decir ella, por ejemplo. I am working. Where are you working? Le van a decir ustedes. Y ella le responde, oh, I am working at the school, en la escuela. Mm -hmm. Who are you working with? Usando el mismo verbo. Who are you working with? ¿Con quién vas a trabajar? Ay. Y luego ella dirá, I am working with my colleagues or with my co-workers. Okay? Why are you working? ¿Por qué vas a trabajar? Ah, because I need money, puede decir ella. Because I need money. Okay, I don't know. No sé qué podría decir, ¿ya? Yeah? Okay. Very good. Muy bien. So, any doubt? ¿Alguna pregunta? Do you have any doubt? Sí, abre tu corazón. Where is Kinger? Estamos en la Es mi galleta de la suerte. No, no, no. 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 No, no, Sí. Entonces, pues, yo quería ver a Dete la suerte. Ok, then you will take turns. Van a tomar turnos. You will, do, you will take turns speaking about your event. Hablando acerca de sus eventos. Sí, chero. But, dime, dime. <coughs> eh, el with solo se utiliza cuando se pregunta con quién. Exactly, exactamente. Y se pone al final, and you put it at the end. For example, who are you working with? Who are you playing soccer with? Who are you going with? Who are you checking email with? Okay, al final, at the end. Yeah. Y en la respuesta, with my brother, with my sister, with my co-worker, with my boss, with my blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah. So, estamos claros? Are you clear? Yeah. So, don't forget, que no se le olvide. Only give the example, don't say the time. Solo den el ejemplo y no digan el tiempo. Okay? For example, I am working. I am playing soccer. I am checking email. I am writing some reports. I am having a party. Okay? Yeah? Yeah. So, let's go and practice. Vamos a practicar. Let's go and practice. Take turns. Toma turnos. Take turns, please. Okay.
un grupo para, para ver. Ok, ahorita. Ok. A ver ahí. Ahí está. Okay, ahorita. Ah, y gracias. Bien. Ya las tengo acá. Ok. Bien, I am busy in cleaning. I am. Que va a empezar, compañeras. ¿Te gusta usted y yo en comienzo? <risa> ok. <risa> Para quién okay. empieza. Yo voy a empezar. Vale. Teacher, I am check email. I am email. Yo le tengo que decir eso, ¿verdad? A ver, I am working. Vale, ustedes van a hacer las preguntas usando. Eh, según lo que entendí, porque no, no, no estuve en toda la explicación, pero según lo que usan del what, when, where, why, which, who, y el otro es how. Oh, oh. Oh. Eh, acá las tenemos. Ok. Glory Bell. Eh, perdón, Jocelyn. Okay. Where are you check email? Uh, I, no sé que si así está correcto. I check email day. I check email every day. Every day. Uh, okay, can I, can I no. interrupt you? Can I interrupt you? Sorry. Yes. Uh, so the idea is to use the questions in present continuous and to speak about the future. Okay? About the future. Okay. For example, if Ana Beatriz says, y Ana Beatriz. ¿Quién fue que dijo I am checking email? Yo salí, right? Sí, yo puse el ejemplo de I check email. No, no. Uh, you have to use the present continuous. So you have to say I, I, I am checking. checking email. I am checking email. I am okay. checking email. Repeat the example, please. I am checking emails. Checking I am email. checking email. Ah, then, la pregunta de Ana Beatriz tendría que ser where do you learn you said where 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 ah, the, the question, question. Una palabra. ask them you can say where, where are, are you checking then uh, where are you checking email for me and the helper where are you checking email and then jocelyn to this is i am checking email in my office for example or in my house uh -huh. okay. y luego le okay. When are you checking in? I am. I am checking. Where? Teacher, teacher, repeat, please. La respuesta sería I am checking. Checking email. Ok. Así tengo que empezar la respuesta. Ajá. Es que depende de lo que te pregunten. Si te preguntan no, no, where, ajá, si te preguntan where es donde. You say in my office, maybe, or in my house. I don't know. Si te preguntan when is cuando. When are you checking email? Ajá, yo you que... say, I am checking email tomorrow, tal vez. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, T. All right, continue, continue. Okay. Okay. Bye. okay, entonces empecemos de nuevo. Sí, empecemos. I am checking email. Sí, I am checking email. Ese es mi ejemplo. Ahora nos, eh, Ana Beatriz me va a preguntar. Ok. Pregúnteme. Eh, Jocelyn, ¿where are you checking email? Eh, I am checking. Sí. Hola, buenas noches. Hi. Hola. 
Hola, hola. Hola, hola, hola. no sé si me escuchan, creo que tengo por audio. Ay, sí. Ok, aquí sí, lo escuchamos. Bueno. Hola, hola. Yeah. Hola, Nelson. Creo que tengo okay. problemas de audio, por rato no la escucho. Ah, ok. Ok, ¿qué están jugando, chicas y chicos? <risa> ¿Mm? Ya le había preguntado bueno, a él. Wendy me mucho, está preguntando. Bueno, aquí en mi lugar está lloviendo. Oh, ok, ok. Eh, yo dije que I am visiting my grandparents. Entonces, ella me preguntó, when okay. are you visiting grandparents? Okay, okay. ok, entonces ahora le toca a, a nada, ¿cómo se llama? <ríe> ahora toca preguntarle a ella entonces. Sí. Okay, eh, vamos a ver watching TV. Ah, no, watching TV. Ok, Gloria, pregunte, hágale una pregunta a usted y después don Nelson y después yo. Who are you watching TV with? Tiene el micrófono apagado. I watch TV my daughter and my sister. Okay. Don Nelson, si le puede echar una pregunta. Okay. Dale. Wendy. No le escuché muy bien lo que digo, es que tengo problemas por eso. Está lloviendo por acá, por mi lugar. Um, okay. I am watching TV. Nelson. I am web. Ah, está viendo usted. Sí, ¿verdad? Thank you. Okay. Um, I am having education session. Okay, uh, Marilena, when are you education session? Ahí no, me pone como que, ajá. No, no, no. no. Yo... Tendría que, le falta el verbo. Heavy. 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 Ah, entonces sería, oh. when are you having... Uh, um, um, uh, having education today. <laughs> uh, when are you having education session? Um, in Caipi, Verapaz, San Vicente. ¿Ve la pantalla de Hazel? Sí. Sí, ya la veo. Okay. Ahorita lo voy a escribir. A ver, güey. Ah, no. En lo que escribe Yesenia, eh, uh -huh. voy yo entonces, chicas. Sí, de, de el ejemplo a usted y ahí le preguntamos. Ok. I am, uh, write, I am, write reports. Writing. Write reports. Writing. Don't forget, don't forget the ING, que no se les olvide la ING en el verbo. I am writing reports. Uh, ok. I am writing. Writing okay. reports. 
Okay. Uh, when are you writing report, Ana Beatriz? Yes, I am uh, writing report in my office. When? Okay. Is when or where? When or where? When. 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 Ah. When. When is cuando, Ana Beatriz. When is cuando. Ah, yo y que dijo where. <laughs> no, she said when. When. Ah, okay. Repite el ah. tiempo. Okay. Okay. When are you writing report, Ana Beatriz? I am writing report every day. Okay. okay. Just, just something. Tal vez algo. Recuerden que las expresiones de tiempo que usamos en el presente continuo no son como las del presente simple. Every day es como una expresión de tiempo del presente simple, de rutina. Maybe you can, you can use a future time expression, una expresión de tiempo en futuro. Can be tomorrow, um, next week, la otra semana, the next week, or the next month, el otro mes, ¿ok? Ok. Aunque no sea así. Ok, ok. Entonces sería, I am writing report uh, tomorrow. Ok, thank you, Ana Beatriz. Ah, Jocelyn, yeah. no, the idea is that you give real information, la idea es que den da información real, ok? Ok. Ok, traten de, traten de buscar la expresión de tiempo correcta que pegue con su respuesta. Puede ser que el otro mes no okay. vaya a Okay, and, you say, and you say the next month, okay, or the next week, la otra semana, it depends, yeah. Y podemos decir next day. Tomorrow is the next day. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> o podrían decir, decir pasado mañana is the day after tomorrow. The day after tomorrow, pasado mañana. Um, aunque sea a todos los días, teacher. All right sea todos los días que se hace el reporte. Oh, ok, so in this case, tal vez aquí entonces estamos usando el ejemplo equivocado. Porque la idea es hacer acerca, o sea, que me, que me hagan preguntas en futuro. Ya. Uh, yeah. okay. Pero igual, okay. aunque lo haga todos los días, siempre lo va a hacer toda la otra semana. Okay. O mañana. Okay? Mm -hmm. okay? So you say okay. tomorrow or the next week. Mm -hmm. Siempre lo va a hacer de todas formas. Mm -hmm. Ok. Okay. Eh, le toca a um, Hazel preguntarle a Ana Beatriz. Um, okay. Where, where are you writing report, Ana Beatriz? I am writing report in my office. Yes. Where you have to spend day? Are you happy? Are you writing report? Pardon, repeat. Why are you writing report? Because it's important. <laughs> Ok, Yesenia de la Cruz. Y que se hace en el trabajo, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? ¿Cómo? Tengo que preguntarle una actividad que ustedes hacen en el trabajo, le digo. No, es acerca del ejemplo que dio Ana Beatriz. Es el ah. que usted le va a hacer una de las preguntas. Bien, este. Where are you write report? ¿Dónde? Esa ya me, bueno, me la habían preguntado. Es, I am writing report in my office. I am, uh -huh. When are, esta sería where, where are, Hay arte, vamos a ver. Buscan, a ver.
day. All day. <risa> ah, vaya, vaya, pues preguntémosle así. <risa> Ember, ¿you start? No, solo usted, yo no le escucho, Ember, el sonido fuerte. Ah, ok. Tiene eh, interferencia de algo. Maybe, tal vez por la interferencia, porque yo sé que a veces hay personas haciendo cosas en casita o viendo cosas también. Tal vez lo que pueden hacer es para que no haya interferencia, solo no, pero... no, pero no hay aquí conmigo ahorita. Yo creo que es mi aparato, que todavía es el sonido. Sí. Oh, oh. Bye. Eh, repito, solo hagan la pregunta si hay interferencia y luego apaguen el micrófono, ¿ok? Solo en el momento de la participación para que no les afecte, ¿ok? Listo. Ok, Juan Carlos, eh, la idea es que pongas un ejemplo para después preguntarte en base a, a, a lo que está en pantalla. When, where, who y why. Eh, en un ejemplo de algo que estés haciendo que vayas a hacer. Eh, quiero ver. Uh, improve my house. Mejorar mi casa. El verbo mejorar en... Impro improve. Improve. ¿Cómo sería? Probing. It would be, uh, sería, I am improving my house. I am improving my house. Improving. I am improving my house. Sería el ejemplo de Juan Carlos. Ok, entonces comienzo yo. Eh, Juan Carlos, when, when are you improving your house? Tomorrow, on, on Saturday. Solo que ahí vamos a hacer una ayuna, acuérdense. ¿Cómo? Okay. En la dinámica de esta y vamos a hacer una cada una. María Elena. Where are you improving your house? Eh, in my floor. In my Roof. That's all. Todavía se me da interferencia, compañeros. Eh. Ya me. Qué feo. Eh, si pudiera quitarnos el audífono. Vaya, ahora ya no se oye. Hoy sí me oye. Me oye. Es que se oye como que hubiera un televisor o, o radio o algo. Ah, ok, ok, pues sí es una tele que tienen por aquí. Del vecino. Oh, es sordo el vecino. El vecino del cuarto. No, pero no está fuerte, pero sí, ya lo voy a. No, pero es zumbido, más que todo. Ella a saber. Zumbido. Ok, pregúntenme, sigan preguntando. Ok. En la tercera vamos. Ah, en la tercera. Sí. Who are you? No. Who are you improving your house with? Only me. Nestor. The other one. Running. I running in the Balboa Park. Why are you in the street? 
Because I need. Because I need. Perder peso. Bajar de peso. Maybe you can say to exercise. Maybe you can say because I need to exercise. Yes. I need to exercise. I need to exercise. No, pero ¿cómo es bajar de peso? Bajar de peso se dice lose weight. Lose weight. Lose weight. Because I need to lose weight. Because I need to lose weight. I need more more exercise. Ok, Nelson, ¿qué hace usted? I am... Oh, oh me fue la... I am... I am 80. <laughs> ok, pues, nos vemos más tardecito, ok? Gracias. Bueno, un gusto. Gracias, gracias. Ok, let's wait for the others. Esperemos a los demás. Ahorita se están agregando. Let's wait for the others to come. Ok, uh, so, um, I guess everybody practice, right? Uh, what? Um, just let me tell you. Uh, what's important here is that you know the meaning of each information question, all right? For example, the meaning of where, saber qué significa where, si te preguntan where, hey, where are you working? So automatically, automáticamente, automatically you say, oh, I am working at Siman, for example. Hey, when are you working? Automatically, I am working tomorrow. Or, hey, who are you playing soccer with? Ah, you, you don't stop to think. You only say, oh, I am playing soccer with my friends. So, automatic questions, pero automatic answers, sorry. Pero para dar respuestas automáticas, necesitamos manejar el significado de where, when, who, which, why, for example, ¿ok? So, we need to study them carefully. Necesitamos estudiarlas cuidadosamente, ¿ok? Very good. So, that, that's activity number one. So, listen, in activity number two, in activity number two, you will write... You will write five questions using any information question you want. La palabra que quieran de when, where, who. All right? So you need to write five questions. For example, let me show you here the, the chart. So here, aquí, here, at there, here, you will write five questions, five possible questions for your classmates or five possible questions for your classmates' events. Cinco posibles preguntas para los eventos de sus compañeros. So you only write the questions. Solo van a escribir las preguntas aquí nada más. You only write the questions here, okay? So this is, esto está en la página, let me tell you. This is on page, let me, let me show you here. This is on page um, 30, 30, let me see. On page 36. 36. It's on page 36. Okay. So I, I will go again to the presentation and look. So on this space, um, on these spaces, you need to write five questions or five questions about possible events for your classmates. For example, for example, for example, um, when when are you working? That's number one. Esa, imagínense que es la número uno. When are you working? When are you working? So, one event, un evento, one event. Maybe you can write another event, otro evento. Um, 
where, where, where are you going? Where are you going tomorrow, for example? ¿Dónde vas a ir mañana? Where are you going tomorrow? Imagine that's question number two. Imagínense que esa es la pregunta número dos. Siempre usando la misma estructura. For who are, to be, who are you uh, working with, for example? ¿Con quién estás trabajando? Who are you working with? Ah, you say, I am working with LC or I don't know, you say the names, right? Yeah. So the idea is that you write one, two, three, four, five questions. Cinco preguntas. Puede ser usando when, where, who, even, or why, that best, okay? Yeah. Okay, very good. So five questions. Vamos a escribir solamente cinco preguntas. All right? Okay, adelante. Si tienen el material, háganlo en el material, porque van a hacer estas preguntas a sus compañeros, ¿ok? Ya, yeah. si tienen una fotocopia, en su fotocopia, en su fotocopia, ¿ok? Ok, let's work, trabajemos, let's work. Page 36, página 36, page 36. Solo vamos a ver por nombre you, nada más. When are you? Where are you? Who are you? Why are you? Because you will ask the questions to your partners. Porque le van a hacer las preguntas a un compañero, ¿ok? You will ask the questions to a classmate. So you use are you, when are you, where are you, who are you, ¿ok? Using the present continuous. No se le olvide la ING en el verbo. When are you playing soccer? Where are you going tomorrow? Okay. Who are you having classes with? For example, the next week. Or who are you taking classes, English classes with? Okay. ¿Con quién están tomando clases de inglés? Who are you taking English classes with? All right. I am giving you examples, like for example, examples. I am giving you examples, ideas. Teacher. Yeah. It's okay. The question is Who are you helping in your job with? It's okay. Who are you helping? In your job with. No, in this case, you don't have to say with. In este caso, el with no es necesario. Okay. Yeah. Only who are you helping in your job? A quien estás ayudando, okay? Who are you helping in your job?
Liceo. Yes. Tell me, dime. Uh, I can say what are you making today? Uh, maybe in this case you can say doing is better is better. What are you doing today? Okay. The day is almost over. El día casi ha terminado. Maybe you can say tonight, en la noche, or maybe later, o tal vez más tarde, later. What are you doing later? Después, okay, later. O incluso podrían decir after the class. What are you doing after the class? Si quieren referirse a hoy, ¿verdad? Porque la idea es hacer preguntas en futuro. To make questions in future, okay? So, what are you doing okay. after the class? Después de la clase. All right, Amber, did you finish? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. <clears throat> okay, I'll give you two more minutes. Two minutes of months, two more minutes. I'll give you two more minutes. Yeah. Y Miss Wendy ya no está conectándose. Natalie. Uh -huh. sí, sí, está conectada, creo, ahorita. Bueno, estaba conectada. Mi compañerita, profe. Sí, estaba conectada, pero ahorita ya no la veo. Sí, se conectó al principio. Cuando pasó la asistencia estaba. Ah, ok. okay. Yeah. Voy a revisar acá. Let me check here. Sí, pero me acuerdo que estaba conectada ella. She was connected. Sí estaba, sí estaba conectada al principio, pero se salió, no sé por qué razón. I don't know why. Ok. Yeah. Ok, please don't forget. When you finish, raise the hand. Ok, levante la mano. When you finish, raise your hand, please. So I can see Jacqueline Glorivel, Juan Carlos, and Amber finished because they raised their hand. Right? Levantaron la mano, they raised their hand. Ok. La manita de reactions, ¿verdad? La manita de reactions. La de reactions, like that. Ok. So I can no se that. puede poner en la compu, teacher. Oh my God. <laughs> ok, but I can see you finished. Thank you. Ok, what's the finish to? Maria too. Nestor finished too. All right. Thank you. Jocelyn is missing, right? Oh. I can see, yeah. All right, Jocelyn is missing. Oh, Loida finished. Edgar is working. Oscar. Ahí abajo no le aparece, abajo no le aparece las reacciones, Loida. Solo las reacciones de las que se quitan, que son las cinco. Abajo de esas, cuando se abre el cuadro, ahí abajo dice que te van a mano o a la mano. En el, mismo, en el mismo cuadrito, solo que no aparece donde está la filita de reacciones. Sino que aparece así, abajito, como unos dos, un, un centímetro abajo en el mismo cuadrito, en la misma ventanita que le tira y aparece levantar la mano. 
No, no me aparece. No aparece. Porque, porque yo no tengo una computadora también y siempre me, me puedo poner. Aparece la manita, sí, dice levantar la mano. Ya le voy a no. mandar una. Teacher. Ya. Yo he desconectado, he desconectado la cámara porque no tengo buena recepción. Ok. De internet. No problem, it's okay. La pantalla de Zoom no creo que te aparezca, Ember. Ah, sí, yo creo que no aparece la de Zoom. Ah, no, la pantalla de Zoom no le va a aparecer. You want a tier. Uh -huh. ah, mejor le voy a mandar una captura. I will send you a screenshot. Yo la voy a hacer ahorita. Hold on a second. Para que vea lo de más o menos dónde es. A mí me aparece en inglés, ¿ok? Pero la idea es que ahí, ahí la puedan ver. Ahí la mandé al grupo de WhatsApp ahorita. Ahí se han visto de WhatsApp group. ¿Lo oyen? Ahí la envié al grupo de WhatsApp ahorita. Ahí se han visto de WhatsApp group. Y ahí la he resultado. I have highlighted. Ok. Very good. So, uh, so the idea in this moment is, is that in pairs, in parejas, in pairs, we will go to break our rooms. But listen, you will ask the questions to your classmates, to a classmate. Le van a hacer la pregun las preguntas a un compañero, only one classmate, okay? And that classmate will answer, obviously. And you take notes about the answer. Van a tomar notas acerca de la, de la respuesta. Let me give you one example. Déjenme darles un ejemplo. Let me give you one, one example. Okay. Imagine, imagínense que yo le pregunto a Loida, Loida, um, where are you going tomorrow? ¿Dónde vas a ir mañana? Where are you going tomorrow? I am going, no, sí, I am going a, a birthday party. Ah, entonces voy a escribir aquí donde dice, aquí tengo la pregunta que yo le hice a Loida. Ya se imagine, imagínense. Here, aquí voy a escribir la respuesta. She is going she is going to a to a party ella va a ir a una fiesta she is going to a party okay and i continue with question number two continuo con la pregunta número dos so loida um when i would say where uh, let me see who who are you taking english classes with who are you taking english classes with Eunice, hello. Who, repeat please, teacher. Who are you taking English classes with? ¿Con quién estás tomando clases de inglés? With, um, with Yesenia, Jocelyn, Ana Beatriz. Okay. Okay. With Yesenia, Jocelyn. Mm -hmm. And you take notes about the answer. Y toman notas acerca de la respuesta de Loita, ¿ok? Si no, si no va a hacer lo que le están preguntando, imagínense que le preguntan. Um, Eunice, um, when are you playing soccer? Pero ella no juega fútbol, maybe, right? Yes, when are you playing soccer? Entonces, ¿qué va a decir? I am not playing sí, soccer. I am, I am okay. not playing soccer. Y donde tomen nota, ustedes van a escribir, she is not playing soccer. Negative, right? Negativo. She is not or she isn't playing soccer. Okay. O tal vez le pregunta a Juan Carlos. Uh, Juan Carlos, uh, when are you going to the cinema? ¿Cuándo vas a ir al cine? When are you going to the cinema? Pero Juan Carlos no tiene planes de ir. ¿Qué va a contestar? It's true. Ah, it's true. So Juan Carlos will say, I'm not going to the cinema. And then you take notes. Y ustedes, ustedes toman notas y van a decir, he is not or he isn't going to the cinema. ¿Ok? So you need to have notes for the five questions. Deben tomar notas de las cinco preguntas, yeah? So we will go to practice in pairs. Iremos a practicar en parejas. So you, you take turns. Ahí toma turnos para preguntarse uno al otro, yeah? So is it clear? Is some clouds? Is it clear? Does everybody have the five questions? Todos tienen ya las cinco preguntas? Everyone? Yeah, okay. Let's go and practice. Vamos a practicar. Let's go and practice. Okay, let me see. I have 15, 7, Seven pairs. I will make seven pairs. All right.
El, 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 ¿Dónde uh, se va a ejercitar? ¿Dónde se va a hacer ejercicio? Where, repeat the question. Where are you exercising tomorrow? Exercise es ejercitarse. ¿no? Pero y el verbo es uh, eh, ejercitar. O lo cambiamos. Se lo pongo más fácil. Porque la respuesta sería I am not. Hey, why? Teacher, <laughs> the, the verb is exercise. Es ejercitarse. Yeah. Okay, yeah. entonces, exercising. Yeah, but, but I think it's better if you say, I am doing exercise. I am doing exercise. Ah. It's better. It sounds better. Suena mejor. Okay, o sea, más largo. Me voy a hacer escribir más. Estoy haciendo, voy a hacer ejercicio. I am doing exercise. What are you doing? Exercise. Exercise. Exercise es S, ¿verdad? Es S-E al, al final. S-E al final. Exercise. Exercise. The pronunciation. Okay. Tomorrow. Where are you doing exercise tomorrow? Excel. I don't. I am not doing exercise. Excellent. No, excellent teacher. It's, it's not healthy. I mean, I mean the answer, the structure, like the Buddha. <laughs> I'm talking She's... about the structure, not about the action itself. <laughs> she like is not. Exercise. She is not bad. <laughs> eh, sería she is not exercise. Doing, doing, doing exercise. Ex she is not doing exercise. Or she isn't. Okay. Eh, who are you visiting? Yeah. Hola. Yo soy conectada de la compu también, pero veo que Edgar está allá en la sala principal. <laughs> no está con grupo. Sí, es que es, sí eso, es, eso iba a preguntarte, tú estabas con dos dispositivos. Ah, pero sí, Edgar sí, está en, ah, Edgar sí está en un equipo ahorita, yo lo metí en un equipo, solo que se me haya salido. Es que sí, está afuera ahorita, ahí lo estoy viendo, está solo. Nelson, vamos a ver. Pero no está llorando, ¿verdad? <risa> solo Edgar, veo que... Edgar, Edgar me dijo, ¿verdad? Ah, no, perdón, Oscar Arnulfo dice. Oh, pero es que no me ha aceptado eso, pero sí está asignado a un grupo. Uh, sí, le voy a poner mover otra vez, tal vez que no me hace tanto. Y Edgar también uh, está ahí. Pero es que Edgar está en los dispositivos. Bueno, ya están hablando ahí. Ah, perdón. Sigamos Juan. <laughs> Who are you visiting the zoo with? Who are you visiting the zoo with? Who are you visiting the zoo? No conoce el zoológico, me va a decir. Ah, zoo. <laughs> I don't understand zoo. Eso era lo que no entendía. Who are you visiting? Who are you visiting the zoo with? ¿Con quién vaya el zoológico? Pues? Um... I don't go as I don't. I am not visiting. I am not visiting. I am, I am not, not visiting. I'm not visiting the zoo. I am not visiting the zoo. The zoo, exactly. Visiting. Visiting, right, teacher? Yes, visiting. Es que no me aceptan estar ahí. Ya ya les mandé dos veces la invitación y no me aceptan. Como que están haciendo otra cosa, quizá. Quizás si sí, afuera se quisieron quedar, porque ahí estaban hablando. 
cake that you watching series next week? Why watching series? Nelson, why are you studying English? Why? Huh? We are uh, because uh, and because uh, like because I like yes. Ahora pregunto yo, ¿verdad? Usted, yes, Ask me. Sí, ¿verdad? Yes, ask me. María Elena. O a María Elena. A María Elena. A María Elena. Ah, perdón, voy con María Elena, estoy cierto. <risa> <risa> eh, where are you study? Do you think? Where, where are you studying? I am studying English all night, all night to Monday to Friday. O puedo hacer también weekly. Eh, where? Eh, where? ¿Dónde? Um, yeah, where are you? In your house. In, in my house. House. Sería, entonces yo tendría que poner chi. Ella. Y está ahí, ¿verdad? She is studying. In English in her, her house. Her house. Thank you, chicas, for helping me. I'm very poco para English. We're learning. Okay. The truth is that yes. Now, I'm going to have to answer. María Elena me no, pregunta. Yo pregunto. Ah, ok. Um, who are you singing with? Who are you? Singing. Firmar. Sign, signing. 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 Um, I am not signing. She doesn't sign. Mm -hmm. You too. Nelson, where are you buying? Where are you buying? Uh, sorry, sorry for the interruption. Okay. Uh, Nelson, Nelson, hello. Sorry for the interruption. Maybe uh, Glory Bell, maybe in this question, uh, this verb needs a complement. Okay? Porque no tiene sentido en sí, buy. Buy what? Pero comprar qué? Buy what? The microphone, Jacqueline. The microphone. Hola, hola. Hey. Buen recorte, teacher. Lo que tengo mala señal. Okay. Okay. Jack, Jacqueline, maybe you can say buying clothes. Or buying what? Coca Cola, or I don't know. Okay, buying something. I comprar algo. Okay, este verbo solo no tiene sentido. Yeah. Okay. Es ropa, clothes. Clothes. Mm -hmm. Clothes. Where are you buying clothes? Eh. eh. ¿Dónde voy a comprar ropa? ¿Algo así me Yes. Hola. Yes. 
<laughs> Industri memang Hola. Hola, hola. Eh, Repite. Eh, ¿Qué man? I like your expression, brother. I like your expression. <laughs> <laughs> All right, continue, 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 please. Okay, hoy me toca a mí a uh, María Elena. Yes. Good Rivers. Who? Who? Good. Sí, good. Are you Rivers? Repeat the question, please. Uh, repeat, please. ¿Con quién vive? Uh, good. Uh. Yes, go are you live? Ah, Nelson. Uh, Nelson, in this case, you say with at the end. Who are you living with? with? La W I T H with. Who are you living with? Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, entonces sería go are you living with? Live. Living with. Live. Primero sería living. Ah, living, living with. 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 Mm -hmm. Living with, ¿con quién? Ah. Yeah. Ok. I am, I am living with my family, my child, my mother, my uncle, my sister, bueno. her, her husband, every, everyone. <laughs> It's a big house. <laughs> En big family. Ok. Big family. Okay, too. Family. Sí. Entonces, ya chile with family. Yes. Ya. Ya fui a hacer desorden con Ana Beatriz. Así que hoy me corresponde aquí. Ok, entonces. Uh, sigamos, pues. Vaya, Juan Carlos. Why are you staying too late? Tomorrow in your workplace. Pero tomorrow no vamos a trabajar. Eso sería next week. Tomorrow no no working no week. working. Sería why are you go why are you staying too late in your workplace next next week? Sería why are why you are you staying staying too late? In your workplace, pick. Is ah. that uh, teacher? Yes. Why? Yes. I think it's, ne it's enough to say late. Solo late, nada más. Why are you okay. staying late in your workplace next week? The next week. Okay. Because a lot of work. Maybe you can say it because I have a lot of work. I have. Because. I have or I having? No, no, you can say I have in this case. In este caso, con la pregunta de cuál se puede decir I have. Because I have a lot Okay, of, because yeah. I have a lot of work. So, Hazel, when you take notes, you say because he has. Okay, porque para el he is, has, right? Because he has a lot of work. Okay? Okay, teacher. And the last. Se preguntamos a Jose. Preguntémosle. <laughs> para que la remedie. Pregúnteme, pregúnteme. <laughs> ah, ahí está, eh. <laughs> ahí está el eco. <laughs> <laughs> es mi mini copia por eso. <laughs> Vaya, pues, pregúnteme. Le voy a preguntar, pues, what are you doing exercise tomorrow, Jocelyn? Um, 
sí, puedo ser, responder negativo, teacher. Yeah. Hey, ¿Por qué? <risa> Increíble. <risa> Don Vinicius, Carlos. Don Vinicius. Na, nadie hace ejercicio, ¿verdad? Yes. Claro que Solo sí, yo, as... yo hago ejercicio, que más ejercicio de andar haciendo limpieza, andar por un lado para el otro. Sí, ejercicio. Ok. Ejercito la mente también. All right. In, in the negative form, uh, Josephine, you can say, I'm not doing exercise tomorrow. Tomorrow, Juan Carlos, you said tomorrow or? Sí, tomorrow. Sí, tomorrow. Say, sí. tomorrow. I'm, not, I'm not doing exercise tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Ok. I'm not doing. ¿Cómo? I'm not doing. I'm. I'm ok. I'm not, I'm not doing. The doing exercise tomorrow. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Eh, Hazel, haga la otra pregunta. Where are you studying English? Um, buena pregunta. Eh, uh, I am studying English in my house para el momento ya pero en inglés en inglés corporativo en sabor yeah, pero en mi casa maybe you can say inglés corporativo alright even if you do it okay. I am studying English okay. at inglés corporativo in my house you know? okay. o online en línea online online ok entonces esa me parece mejor Sería entonces, uh, I am studying Okay, everyone, I guess everybody practice questions using when, where, who, right? Why? So, uh, just don't forget, where is for place? Where is for place? When is for time? When is for time? Teacher. Yes. It's time for my recreito. Oh yeah, we are going. Ya vamos ahorita. We are going right now. We are going right now. I, I just finished this, okay? Who is for people? Who is para personas? Who is for people, right? And why is for reason. And why is para razón. Why is for reason. Okay, so don't forget that, please. Que no se le olvide eso. What is para cosa. What is for thing. All right. What are you doing? A thing, right? Una cosa, a thing. All right. Thank you very much for your participations in the, in the groups. I think now you manage the, the topic of the information questions with the present continuous. Okay. Muy bien. Vamos a ir, ya nos tardamos para el receso. Dos minutos, por favor. Y luego le paso asistencia rápidamente. Si no están, cuando vengamos del receso y pase asistencia, le voy a dejar aquí el cuadrito sin asistencia. Okay? So please, come back quickly. Regresen rápido después de los dos minutos. Okay? So time is running now. Take two minutes. Tomen dos minutos. Take two minutes. Right now. Ahorita. Compañeros, ¿alguien me puede decir en qué página van? Um, hi, Edgar. Hello, Edgar. Hi, teacher. Uh, we are on page, we were on page 35. Estábamos en la página 30, uh, 36, sorry, 36. Pero en ese momento vamos a la página 37, page 37, ¿ok? 
Okay. So we are going to page 37 in this moment. Okay. Thanks, Hi, Sarai. Are you tired, Sarai? Te mira bien cansada, Sarai. You look really tired. More or less. And I am thinking with my homework. <laughs> oh, you are thinking about your homework. Que no deja, no, yo sé que están bien ocupados todos, todos estamos muy ocupados, pero no dejen que se les acumule para que después no les cueste. ¿Ok? Yes, so, yes. Let's try. Solo son cinco nada más y son de cinco preguntas cada uno, ¿verdad? Sí. sí. Yo creo que si, si le pones, si, 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 si te apresuras a hacerlo, yo creo que en términos de, ¿qué? De unos... 25 minutos creo que lo tienes listos, ¿ok? Y en tu yes, caso, yes. como ya sé que tú no lo has completado y no te quiero dejar sin notas, te voy a pasar la nota mañana, en tu caso, lo llevo un momento, ¿ok? Ok, teacher, gracias. Temprano, temprano mañana, así que debes dejar la lista hoy, lo siento. Pero sí. Pero sí te va a tener que quedar un poquito más tarde, ¿ok? Sí, teacher. Hasta la tarea 15 era, ¿verdad, teacher? Sí, exactamente. <risa> Sí, tiene razón, ya está la tarea 15, porque básicamente semana 1 y 2 son 10 tareas. No, no son 10 ah. tareas, ok. Y semana 3 son otras 5 tareas, ok. Es una tarea bueno, por día. Son... Es que ella no va a dormir hoy. <risa> Veo que me están asustando más de la cuenta. Ok, regresemos. It's time, let's come back, please. Regresemos. Tiene razón, Juan Carlos. It's right. Voy a ver quién fue que habló Juan Carlos. Dormir, que no va a dormir o que estaría hasta la 15. No, 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 solo le faltan prácticamente de la 11 a la 15, las 10 de esta semana. ¿Verdad, Saray, o me equivoco? Sí, así es, solo de la solo son, sí, solo son cinco nada más y son cortitas. They're short. Okay, so you are, you are capable. Eres capaz. Eso es rapidito, lo sé. Ya ve, ¿quién es el del relajo, Juan Carlos? No soy yo. Ya veo okay. que Juan Carlos es el estudiante de relajo. A la par de Jocelyn, creo que Jocelyn. Ah, lo que pasa es que yo no, ha, no lo ha dado todavía a conocer entonces <ríe> no ha sacado el estudiante que lleva en sí el estudiante verdadero <ríe> que ahí está tirando papeles el teacher ahí okay. le da la espalda ahí veo que, que cae All right, let's see. le voy a pasar asistencia rápidamente I will pass attendance quickly okay? so please say I'm here or present so Ana Abigail she didn't get connected today Ana Beatriz. Present. All right. Carlos David didn't get connected. Edgar. Present. All right. Amber. I'm here. All right. Sarai. I'm here. Jacqueline Lisset. Por eso no se ha no conectado ya varios días. Juan Carlos. I'm here. All right. I'm here. I'm here. All right, thank you. Maria Elena. I'm here. All right, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Mauricio. Mauricio. Okay, Nelson, Nestor. Nelson, perdón. Nelson and then Nestor. Nelson. I am here, teacher. All right. I am here. Thank you, Nestor. I'm here. All right, Nestor. Thank you. Oscar Arnulfo. Arnulfo. Present. Are you there? Present, present. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Roxana is not connected. Wendy Natalie no se conectó. Se conectó un momentito. Wendy Natalie. Se salió rápido. She went out quickly. All right, let's see, um, Jacqueline Rodriguez. Present. Jocelyn Joanna. Jocelyn Joanna. I'm here. All right. And Yesenia Marisol. Present. All right, thank you very much. Good, now please. So in this moment, I want you to share what your classmates are doing or are not doing, all right? these days or for these coming days yeah good so just give me two examples solo deme dos ejemplos just give me two examples you say the name my classmate's name is Eunice for example my classmate's name is Eunice 
and she is not doing exercise tomorrow. Uh, she is helping her employees tomorrow, for example. Okay, so just two examples, solo dos ejemplos, only two examples. So, Eunice, do you want to start? My classmate's name is. Hmm, my classmate's name is. My class name. My class my name is um, Yesenia. Yeah. And she is working in Colegio Hispano America. Okay. And, mm -hmm, that's all. Oh, that's all. Only one example. No, two, no. Two examples. Two examples. And, and she. She's helping in your job. No. And she. Ah. And she work because she likes teaching. Okay. No, she loves teaching. She and, loves. And. and eh, no, no sé cómo decirlo. If the question is, who are you helping in your job? And the answer is with academic coordination. And how can I say? She uh, then you say, she's helping, okay. she's helping with academic coordination. She's okay. helping with okay. academic coordination, okay? Okay. Say the example, say the example, Dilo. She is helping, she is helping with, with academic Academic coordination. Coordination, coordination. All right, very good. Thank you, Loida. Thank you very much. All right, let's listen to um, Jacqueline Gloriver. My classmate is Nelson Gavarrete. Yeah. Going work every day. He, he buying clothes in the Siman. Okay, he's buying clothes at Siman, yeah. Only two, only two, it's okay, Gloribel. Only two examples. Thank you, Gloribel. Only two examples are okay, no problem, okay? Thank you very much. Thank you, Gloribel. Very good, that's excellent. Let's listen to Nestor. Good evening. Hello, good evening. My classmate is, my classmate name is Amber. Yes. Okay. He visiting parents on the next week. All right. He going to work in his car. Okay. Thank you very much. That's excellent. Thank you, Nestor. Great examples. Thank you very much. All right, let's listen to uh, Edgar at this time. Edgar, hello. Hi, Hi teacher. Eh, yo venía en camino. Todavía no, no, no me uní con alguien. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very much. Sí, es que los veía conectados así a turno, como que no lograban incorporarse en un equipo. No sé si lo, porque los metía y no, y no se unían, como que no había señal, no sé por qué razón. Arnulfo, no sé qué pasó. Ay, Arnulfo. Arnulfo. Creo que porque está lloviendo. Bueno, en mi, en mi zona está lloviendo. Ok, that's why, man. Tengo falla con el internet. ¿Perdón? I have my internet. Oh, you have problems with your teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, then let's listen to uh, Maria Peñate. The last participation, última participación para esta actividad. Good evening. Good evening. My classmate name is Gloribel. She check email um, to Monday to Friday. And she doesn't arrange meeting. Okay. The, the examples are okay. Uh, what I feel is that the, the examples were supposed to be in future. Okay, for example, you have to say she is not checking email tomorrow, for example, or she is checking email the next week. Okay, 
So the examples were supposed to be in future, not in present simple. But the examples are okay. The emphasis can be in the examples are okay. But supposedly you have to, to write the examples in the in the future. La idea es que fueran en futuro, okay? Usando el presente continuo, using the present continuous, all right? Y ahí como es que la próxima semana ella chequea el email, el email de lunes a viernes. Okay, okay, María, viernes. María, and what is the question? What was the question for her? ¿Cuál es la pregunta? What is the question? When are you checking email? Ah, okay, then she had to say, ella tenía que decir, I am checking email the next week, for example, or I am checking email the next month. Right? Uh -huh. So the answer has to be, la respuesta debe ser, she is checking email tomorrow or the next week or the next month. I don't know. No sé. Okay, I don't know. Okay, okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. All right. So um, th that was, remember, the idea in this, in this specific part is that we use when, where, and why with the present continuous, okay? For example, when are you studying English? Where are you studying English? Or why are you studying English? Or when are you studying English, all right? But imagine you have, imagine que tienen what? Checking Facebook, let's say, checking Facebook, all right? So the questions would be, la pregunta sería, when are you checking Facebook? Oh, I am checking Facebook later. Where are you checking Facebook? Oh, I am checking Facebook in my cell phone, right? Or on my computer or in my house, I don't know. Why are you checking Facebook? Ah, because I like entertainment or I check other people's histories, for example, okay? Or walls. And then you go like that. Vamos de esa forma, you go like that, okay? The questions are in future. Or the focus is the future. El enfoque de estas preguntas es en futuro en este caso. In future this time, okay? Yeah, very good. Now let's move on. Movámonos entonces. Let's move on to the next activity. So look, in the next activity, we have a conversation, okay? In the next activity, we have a, a conversation, okay? So please, take a moment. Read the conversation, and now we'll ask you some questions in three minutes. Okay? So read the conversation. I will ask you questions in three minutes. Okay? So read it, please. Leanna, read the conversation. It's on page 37. It's on page 37.
Teacher. Yeah. I'm studying on my own. It's like it's me. It's like I'm studying como auto es auto autodidacta algo así. No, no. Uh, when it says I'm studying English on my own, it's like for me mismo, for my propios medios, on my own. Uh -huh. Ajá, como ser autodidacta, algo así, ajá, por yes. eso, por eso. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's right. Ser autónomo. Uh -huh. Teacher. Yeah. Y en la parte donde dice, hello, Eva, what are you doing this day? ¿Cómo se traduciría? ¿Qué estás haciendo estos días? A eso, ese es el tema que le voy a explicar ahorita que viene. Para que el presente continuo se usa para otro propósito también. Para no el purpose. And it's coming. Ahorita le voy a explicar en un momento. I will explain you in a moment. Yeah. Ok. Yeah, yeah but that's, that's, that's the translation. What are you doing these days? ¿Qué estás haciendo estos días? What are you doing these days? Hmm? All right, let's see. Okay, I will ask you some questions. Les haré algunas preguntas. So please, if you have the answer, si tienen la respuesta, go to reactions and raise your hand. Vayan a reacciones y levantan su mano. Go to reactions and raise your hand, please. If you have the answer, se tiene la respuesta, okay? So the first person to raise the hand, will answer the question, all right? The first student to raise the hand will answer the question, all right? Let's see, question number one. Question number one, who is, the, who is taking an English course these days? Who is taking an English course these days? Loida, Eunice, all right? Is Betty, is Beth. Beth, only Beth? And ever. And both. Ever, both, both, exactly, ambos, both. Both are taking an English course, both, ambos. Both, both. are taking the, an English course. An English course. Excellent. Okay, thank you, Loina and Unice. Second question, segunda pregunta, second question. Who is taking a training in England these days? Okay, Amber. Is ever. Mm -hmm. Ever, are you sure? Uh, the college of ever. Uh, college of ever. Ah, that's right. It's ever's colleague. Okay, ever's colleague. El colega de ever. Ever's colleague, not ever. Okay. Thank you, Ember, and thank you. I don't know who else participated there. Good. Question number three. Question number three. Who is reading novels to have better results? Who is reading novels to have better results in English? All right, Maria Peñate. Maria, so. Um, Beth is Beth. reading novels, Beth. Beth is reading novels to have better It's results. reading novels. Okay, thank you very much. Next question, siguiente pregunta, next question. Who is doing listening exercises to improve English? Who is doing listening exercises to improve English? All right, Nestor. <laughs> ever. Ever, ever, ever doing listening exercises. Very good. Thank you very much. All right. So um, now, in this moment, I will pronounce the conversation for you. So please listen carefully. Listen carefully, listen carefully please. All right, so I will start right now. Empezar en este momento. I will start right now. So pay attention carefully. Pon atención. Hi, Beth. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project. And also, I am taking an English course these days. 
How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know a colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England these days. You are right. I am studying on my own, you know. I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercises. They help a lot. One more time, una vez más. So please, pay attention carefully. Pongan atención cuidadosamente. Hi, Beth. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project. And also, I am taking an English course these days. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know a colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England these days. You are right. I am studying on my own. You know, I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercises. They help a lot. So let's listen to Nestor and Sarai. Nestor, you are ever in Sarai, you are there. Hi, Beth. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project and also I'm taking an English course these days. How, how about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know. A colleague, a college who completed the course is taking a training in England, in England these days. You are right. I am studying on my own. You, I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercise. They help a lot. Thank you. Excellent. So, uh, just for me, you say better results. Mejores resultados, better results. La pronunciación de resultados. You say results. That's the correct pronunciation. Uh -huh. Results. Better results. Thank you very much. Great participation. So let's listen to Juan Carlos and Gloribel. Juan Carlos, you are ever in Gloribel. You are Beth. Hi, Beth. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project and also I am taking an English course these days. How about you? That sounds great. What are these days? I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know. A colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England these days. You are you are right. I am studying on my own, you know. I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercise. They help a lot. Of Excellent. Great, great, great participation. Thank you very much. All right, let's listen to a last to a last participation. So, um, Oscar Arnulfo for the last participation, and let me see, let me look for a girl. Oscar Arnulfo and and, and um, Maria. Okay, Oscar Arnulfo and Maria. So, Oscar, you are ever, and Maria, you are bad. Hi, Maria. Long time to see you. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? 
I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project and also I am taking an English course this day. How about you? That sounds great. What's coincidence? I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know. A college who completed course in taking or training in England this day. You are right. I am studying on my own. You know, I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercise. They help a lot. Excellent. Thank you very much. Great. Excellent. Great work. Okay. So let's give the participations thumbs up. Demos le thumbs up a las participations, please. Let's give the participants thumbs up. Thank you very much. All right, your participations were amazing. All right, now let's go to a last part of this class. Vamos a la última parte de esta clase. Let's go to a last part of this class. So listen, here you need to pay attention carefully. Aquí si quiero que pongan atención cuidadosamente. Pay attention carefully, please, all right? So listen, so everybody focus, please. Todos muy enfocaditos, everybody very focused. Okay, look, so, so we have again, the present continues. Tenemos el present continuous again. But this time, we are using the present continuous for temporary situations. Lo vamos a usar para situaciones temporales. Temporary situations, okay? And we are, we are using the expression these days. Vamos a usar la expresión these days or at the moment. These days is estos días. At the moment is like for el momento, at the moment, all right? So these two phrases are used to emphasize temporary situations, okay? And for this, we are using the present continuous. Check example number one. I am reading a new book these days. Oh, I am reading a new book these days. Mm -hmm. How do you translate the example? ¿Cómo traducen el ejemplo? ¿Alguien? ¿Anybody? Yo voy a leer un nuevo libro estos días. Ok, ok, listen. Uh, this time, don't think in future. En esta vez, no Estoy leyendo. En ah, exacto. No piensen en futuro. Sería, estoy leyendo. Ajá. Un nuevo libro estos días. Un nuevo libro estos un días. Un libro nuevo. Ah, uh -huh. un libro nuevo estos días. So, I am reading a new book. This Days. So I am using the present continuous. Estoy usando el presente continuo. Pero esta vez no hay en futuro. It's for temporary situations. Para situaciones temporales. Ah. Reading a book these days. But probably I will finish the book soon. Pero probablemente es temporal porque ya voy a terminar el libro y después dejaré de hacerlo. So it's temporary. Es temporal. So for that I use the present continuous. For temporary situations. Okay. Temporary activities, temporary activities. All right, good. Second example, example number two. Wendy is having a meeting at this moment. Mm -hmm. How do you translate the sentence? ¿Cómo la traducen? How do you translate the sentence? Está teniendo una reunión en estos momentos. Por el momento. Wendy está teniendo una reunión por el momento, at this moment, o en este momento. Good. So... The meeting will finish sooner or later. El, la reunión va a terminar en su momento. So it's a temporary meeting. Es un, 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 una reunión por el momento, ¿ok? O temporal, ¿ok? Por un momento. So let's see number three. Veamos el número tres. We are taking an English course. How do you translate this in Spanish? Number three in Spanish. Nosotros estamos en un curso de inglés. Mm -hmm. Estamos tomando un curso. Exactly. Estamos tomando. Oh. Nosotros estamos tomando un tomando. curso de inglés. So listen. We are taking an English course. This is temporary. Remember, the course is not forever. Okay. El curso no es por siempre. The course is not forever. It's temporary. Okay. So, for temporary situations, we use the present continuous. Para situaciones temporales, vamos a usar el presente continuo. And we can use the expression these days or 
at the moment. For example, for ejemplo, for example, I could say, okay, I will stop sharing. Voy a dejar de compartirles. For example, I could say, for ejemplo, yo podría decir, I could say, um, I am working at Inglés Corporativo these days. I am working or with, I am working with Inglés Corporativo these days. It's temporary, it's not forever. Okay, it's temporary, yeah? So maybe like two years or three years, I don't know how, how long, no sé cuánto tiempo, but it's temporary. Yes, it's not permanent, no es algo permanente. Maybe you can say, um, maybe you don't write reports all the time, tal vez no todo el tiempo escriben reportes, pero les han dejado uno. They have assigned one for you, les han asignado uno. So you say, I am writing a report at the moment. But, the, but that will finish sooner or later, pero quizás muy pronto terminaré de hacer eso. Es temporal, it's temporary. Okay? So do you have any question? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? And for this, we use the present continuous too. Y para eso también usamos el presente continuo. Verb to be y el verbo con ing. And the verb with ing. So do you have any question? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? Do you have any question? Teacher. Yes, Amber. Uh, y esto se puede usar solamente, eh, como le digo, uh, o sea, se puede ocupar con personas, con cosas, siempre y cuando lleve un, un, un adjetivo de tiempo, digámoslo así. Uh -huh. Ajá, un adverbio de tiempo, una expresión de tiempo al final, como these days or at the moment. Yes, yes, you can speak about the computer. Maybe you can say, um, my computer is, tal vez, tu computa, tal vez la computadora se nos olvida bien frecuentemente, ¿verdad? Okay, no es permanente que esté buena. So I can say, um, my computer is working these days. My computer is working these days. Mi computadora está funcionando estos días. But it's temporary. Tal vez puede ser temporal porque se me arruina de vez en cuando, ¿ok? But these days my computer is working. Y estoy hablando de una cosa, ¿ya? Yes, do I answer your question, Amber? Contesto tu pregunta, Amber? Yes, teacher, thank you. All right, perfect. So, Maria, do you have a question? Solo tengo un ejemplo. Como un yeah. ejemplo, ¿qué podría ser? Go ahead. I am drinking a cup. I'm drinking a cup of coffee in this moment. At the moment, at this moment. Very good. Yeah, that's a good example. I am drinking a cup of coffee at this moment, or at the moment. Great, that's excellent. Now, Look, you can also say negative examples. También puedes decir ejemplos en, en negativo. De algo que no están haciendo estos días. Something you are not doing these days. But that you commonly do, pero que ustedes a veces hacen. Que tienen que hacer a veces, ¿ok? For example, I, um, sometimes I write reports, but it's not very often. Yo a veces tengo que escribir reportes, pero no es, no es seguido. Right? So I say, I'm not... I am not writing reports these days. Yo no estoy haciendo reportes estos días. But maybe in the future, I am making some reports. But by now, por ahora, I'm not doing any reports. Yo no estoy escribiendo ningún reporte. I'm not doing any or I'm not writing any reports. Okay? Very good. Now, please, quickly, solo le voy a quitar dos o tres minutos más, two or three more minutes, okay? So think about what temporary uh, activity that you are doing these days. Piensa en una actividad temporal que están haciendo estos días. Think for a moment. Only one activity, solo una actividad. One temporary activity you are doing these days. Oh, one temporary activity you are doing these days is that you are starting an English course at Inglés Corporativo, online. So it's temporary, okay? Because the, this English course is not forever, yeah? Are you ready? ¿Están listos? Are you ready? Or you are thinking? Are you thinking?
on Esther. So there you have the, the private session. Okay. So don't forget to stay, please. Teacher, cuando quiero expresar que estoy viendo, eh, digamos, una serie, por ejemplo, ¿cómo tendría que expresar? Nice, good example. Maybe you can say, I am watching, watching, from what, uh, when you say watch TV, for example, I am watching a series these days. I am watching a series these days, all right? All right. Yeah. All right, let's see. So, Ember, you start. Ember empieza. Ember starts. <laughs> okay, teacher. I, I am watching a series in this day. Excellent. It's a temporary situation. Thank you, Ember. That's pretty good. Okay, let's listen to Jesenia. Jesenia, are you ready? I, I am reading. Um, I am reading a whole, a whole work. I am reading homework these days. You say these days. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Jesenia. Thank you very much. Okay, let's listen to uh, Nelson Gabarrete. I am studying English at this moment. Ah, good. I am studying English at the moment or these days. Good, that's excellent. Thank you, Mr. Gabarrete. Let's listen to... Um, a ver, aquí no le hemos escuchado la voz ahora. So, everybody, right? So, let's listen to Jocelyn. And then, Maria. I am going uh, to bicycle this day. Maybe you can say, I am visiting clients these days. Repeat the example, please. No, no, no. Bicicle es bicicleta. No sé cómo se dice. Bike. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> tell, me, tell me the example in Spanish. Sorry, teacher. No, it's okay. Tell me the example in Spanish. Give me the example in Spanish. It's okay. Yo voy en bicicleta, o sea, yo voy en bicicleta, pero no, no lo hago siempre. Okay. Ah, okay. Then, then you say. Uh -huh. To pero work, al trabajo. To work. It's, it's correct. Then you say, <clears throat> I am riding my bicycle to work these days. I am riding my bicycle to work these days. My bicycle. Riding. Riding my bicycle. Mm -hmm. Riding my Riding. Riding my bicycle. My bike. A ride is como montar. My bike. Ah. Ride the bicycle. La monto, la monto. Vaya, ah. mi bike. Yes. You ride the bicycle. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's listen to Maria. <laughs> I am needing go to the bank these days. Repeat it, please. I am needing go to the bank these days. You are meeting at the bank these days. I am needing, needing. go to the bank. Needing. Needing. Meeting? Meeting. 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 Okay, excellent. That's very good. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you for your example. So do you have any question about the topic? Alguna pregunta del tema, any question about the topic? Or is it very clear, crystal clear? Any question? No. Okay, everyone. Yo sé que están cansaditos todos y el viernes y el cuerpo lo sabe como decimos, right? Okay, so, so, uh, so we are, we, we have to go to rest. Debemos ir a Teacher, teacher. Mañana amanecemos durmiendo. Teacher, I hoy. I have todos, todos pueden ir a descansar tranquilos los que completaron ya la plataforma que es mayoría los que no han completado la plataforma I'm sorry for you but you have to wait to ir a completarla ahorita okay? teacher I have a question yeah, what is your question Jocelyn? Uh, how do you say uh, hoy es viernes y el cuerpo sabe <laughs> I don't have an exact translation for that. Yeah, I don't have an exact <laughs> translation. But maybe you can say, today is Friday, let's go to party. <laughs> it, it's, a, it's a good translation, I think. Okay, so today is Friday, 
Let's go party, right? Let's go party. <laughs> All right. So thank you for connecting everybody. So see you next week. Recuerden la, la otra semana es la la semana para cerrar el el módulo prácticamente es la última semana del módulo 2. Así que esperemos que con la energía de siempre y por supuesto que nos conectemos todos los días, ¿ok? So thank you very much. Have a good weekend and good night. Feliz día. Good night. Happy Labor Day. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Dice. Hello. Tengo una pregunta. Sí, sí, adelante. Chiquita, para este este topic de when, where, who, why, me cuesta cómo, cómo, dónde puedo cómo estudiar o, o, o buscar. Le puedo sugerir un enlace o un video. Se lo puedo mandar. Bueno, es que, es que no estoy autorizado. Es que, la, es que la verdad es que no estamos autorizados como de nivel corporativo de usar materiales extra. ¿Ok? Lo que puedo hacer tal vez es... Veré qué puedo hacer para, 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 para ver qué se me ocurre para, para hacer un repaso del tema. Si no, lo repasamos el lunes, ¿ok? Ok. Thank okay, you. Perfecto. Ok. Bye. See you. Bye. 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 Ok, Néstor. Sorry. <laughs> We are a little late, but this space is for you. So I don't know if you have any, any question or or comment about something? Yeah, teacher. Um, I, I think it's very, um, I, I understand, a little understand this present continuous or future is confused for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, I think it's, it's confusing because when you pass it to Spanish, it doesn't make sense. Cuando lo pasamos a español, like, it doesn't make sense. Like, no tiene sentido, right? Uh, yes. For example, yeah. if you say, um, I am studying English tomorrow. Ah, estoy estudiando inglés mañana, so it's... So the, 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 problem is, sí. the, the problem is that you don't have to think literally. Don't think literally, all right? So just think about the intention. The intention is in future, right? So if I say, si yo digo, if I say, I am working tomorrow. No pensaré en estoy trabajando mañana, no. I will think about future. Voy a trabajar mañana, okay? I am working tomorrow, voy a trabajar mañana. Maybe that's confusing. Tal vez eso es lo que te está confundiendo. Por la sí, sí. Sí, este, e incluso algunas palabras cuando no, la, no las conozco bien, yo las pongo en el traductor y, y eso me crea a mí a veces. Este, o sea, el contexto ¿verdad? de la bien. palabra me, me lo pierde. Yeah, I understand. So listen, maybe one, um, maybe something important here is the time expression. That's very important. Or what you're saying, the context. The context and the time expression is important. For example, for example, for example, si usamos la expresión these days, lo que estuvimos viendo de último, ya sabemos que es una acción que no es, que es temporal. These days, right? Si uso, por ejemplo, um, in this moment, in this moment, en este momento, es una acción que es en este momento, obviamente. Si uso right now, sí. right now, is an action in this moment. Okay? For example, I am helping you right now. So it's an action in this moment. Okay? Right now. But, pero, but, imagine I use an expression in future. Imagine I use an expression in future, like tomorrow, next week, next month. So that tells me that it's future. Eso me dice que es futuro. For example, I am working tomorrow. Ah, uh, tomorrow makes the future. Ese tomorrow hace, lo convierte en futuro. La expresión de tiempo es crucial aquí. Es importante, ¿ok? Sí, sí. Este, como lo que veníamos viendo anterior y 
Y esto a mí me, me crea un poco así de, de confusión, pero ya ahorita ya más o menos me voy a encargar. Yes. Yes. I'm repeating, the time expression is important. La expresión de tiempo es súper importante en este caso, porque es el mismo tiempo verbal para tres propósitos diferentes. Así sí. que, lo que es lo que es importante es the time expression. That's important. Ok. Ok. Yes. I don't know if you have any other questions. Si tienes alguna otra duda, podemos aclarar. We can clarify. No, eso, eso me tenía a mí un poco así como que no caía en qué tiempo me, 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 yo podría responder o, o así. Ok. Sí. Básicamente sí. eso. Ajá, la, la expresión de tiempo. Guárdate eso. La expresión de tiempo, eso es lo importante. The time expression. Ok. Sí, eso. Eso sería lo que me tiene un poco, me, me estaba creando confusión, ¿verdad? Porque Ajá. yo, este, tal vez no estaba hablando en algunas, en algunas preguntas, yo las contestaba, pero no, no estaba dando como una expresión a futuro, sino que actual, ¿verdad? Que mm. lo estoy haciendo, porque eso, eso me, me dejaba a mí pensando que si había ah. dicho bien okay. o no. Ah, pues ahora ya estamos bien, entonces. Sí, okay. solamente eso. Ok, ok. Y hey, otra, <risa> otras así, otras eh, palabras que no conozco, ahí sí las vamos, creo que resolviendo en el momento. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, that's right. Or in the dictionary. Ajá, para vocabulario, yes. pronunciation, ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can use dictionaries. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ok. Thank you very much for connecting, Nestor. Thank you, teacher. All right. La Take care. Care. Good night. Yeah, it's okay. No hay problema. There's no problem. We uh, are here to help. Estamos para apoyar. Have a nice one. Yeah. Okay. okay. Goodbye. Have a nice one, teacher. Okay. Happy Labor Day. Feliz Día del Trabajo. Bye. Happy Labor Day. Enjoy it. Ah, <laughs> uh, to you. Enjoy it. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.